What's going on you guys? So in today's video, I just wanted to go over my um, my free, sorry I look terrible, it's quite early. Anyways, my free uh, and pretty easy keyword research method, uh, which I'll be showing you on my site, on my, my trial site, this is PI. So I've kind of left this actually for more than a month. I've only, I only seeded it with 10 posts and in full transparency, actually let me um, just pause and sign in here. Yeah, so in full transparency, you can see we started posting around August 8th, and I'm just diving the full report here. And things look okay. Uh, I mean, we're stuck in kind of a downward trend for uh, for average position, but yeah. I guess things that aren't looking too fantastic, but they don't look too terrible as well. Very few impressions, but for 10 posts, which are quite uh, quite competitive and quite random, for a site that really has no topical authority yet. Actually, that's not too bad for um, things to do in Charlottetown, which is the capital. Anyways, we seeded it with 10 posts, uh, and then I was on vacation. I haven't even looked at it. I just haven't made it a priority. And we have essentially no posts on this site. Uh, yeah, 10 posts. So what I wanna do right now is just do some keyword research. I do have a bunch of um, research started, but there's just a really easy way using ChatGPT, um, even 3.5, that you can just find hundreds of, of keywords. I mean, you can go back. All right, let me just show you guys what I would do. So, uh, so on ChatGPT here is I would just, uh, what I did yesterday that worked quite well for a different website is I would do something like provide me with a list, topics, and keywords. Um, let's go with a hundred and let's go with a hundred. Let's try to see it with a hundred more posts. Provide me with a list of a hundred keywords, topic based, hundred keywords. And don't judge my prompts. I'm not as good as some of the other GPT pros. Uh, provide me with a list of hundred keywords uh, under subsequent topics, under topics that are all related to a travel and tourism website about Prince Edward Island. Mention a number of different topics and include, let's say, and include 10 keywords that I would use for blog posts for each topic. Now let's see what it bangs out. So as you can see here, it's giving you some pretty good, uh, some pretty specific and some pretty good options here. Now, just having been in the industry for quite a while, I could see that some of these are just completely pointless and not really related to kind of what I would want. Um, this is completely fine. So then I would just say, um, give me the list unformatted, give me the list without any numbers or bullet points so I can paste it into Google Sheets. Anyways, just like that, it's like five seconds, well, no, maybe like 10 seconds and you have, um, I said without bullet points. Uh, just like that, you have a whole list of ideas um, from which you can start creating content from or just move forward for free. Uh, and continue to do some more keyword research. Now, if you're not in the industry, a lot of the stuff might seem practical, but it's too much of it is, or at least some of it, for example, is not gonna be helpful. I mean, why would I ever write a post about seashell uh, and beach theme gifts? But some of these, for example, you know, PEI Artisans Market, Antique Shops in Charlottetown, these are gonna be some pretty okay pieces of content um, to have on a site about Prince Edward Island. Now I just need to say remove the bullet points, please. Always be nice to chat GPT because you never know what the future holds. And then now we'll have a nicely, uh, nice enough formatted list that I can then add to. Okay, it's not, it's not formatted at all. Sorry guys, I'm just not having any luck here. Keep the list format, please. I'm just not having any luck here with chat GPT this morning. I'm not sure why. Um, it's probably gonna give me bullet points again. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, you get the point. So from here, 
I would just uh, take these and once this is done, I will just pop this into uh, my spreadsheet. Any time now? All right. I will just take this. Actually, I know what I can do. I'll make this really easy. Docs. Uh, that's just my prompts. So file new document. So we can just paste this paste without formatting. There we go. And now we have my list. Go to here. Boom. Now we have the list. Okay. So now I can just basically go through and see which of these, uh, I would want to, cause I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of know the niche, um, a little bit. Uh, so I can just go through and see which one of these I would want to use as, uh, basically as content for the site. Now, if you don't know the niche, I mean, it's just going to be a lot more difficult. You can just post all these, uh, chat GPT would know, like, for example, I have no idea what any of these beaches are like, um, singing sands beach, right? So what you can do if you have no idea what it is, but you have an idea of your broad niche is from here. You would just say, write a blog post about singing sands beach PEI because PEI is the main, is the main topic, the main niche really. Um, Yeah, so I can already tell it's too kind of flowy. So I can say, make it more formal and professional with helpful information for travelers to PEI. It's giving me the same kind of content. I just don't, I just can't be bothered right now to really, um, to really, uh, okay, here's some helpful information. So the beginning was just kind of too flowy. Uh, and now we have a little bit of helpful information here. Um, but yeah, basically what I would just do from this is take this, go to PEI posts, add new, boom, boom, boom. Anyway, so you get the point. Um, and I wouldn't even have this stupid title. So one problem I think a lot of people have is they will just post this. They will just cut and paste this, uh, right into WordPress or to their site, but this is a good way to, to get penalized and have no traffic. Google doesn't care about AI content. They care about helpful content, right? So you can either hire a VA to do this, um, but you're going to want your content to just be, um, like, what is this? What is this paragraph? Anyways, I'll take a look at that later. You just don't want to paste it in and have it formatting, have it formatted in a way that ChatGPT or even some AI tool allows. That could work, but again, it's not going to be, your users aren't going to like it and it's just not going to look good and, and Google's probably not going to find it too useful. Um, so you're going to have a lot of difficulty ranking. Anyways, um, so even with all that information, right, uh, it did give us a bunch of keywords, uh, for example, attractions, right? So from there, you can just say, provide me a list of keywords for all the, for the top 15, for the top 20 attractions on PEI, right? It's going to give you a list. Here we go. So now you can either use this for a blog post, you know, the best attractions, the best things to do on Prince Edward Island, include all these, or you can create a separate piece of content for each of these. And now all of these, I mean, like, for example, this probably doesn't get too much search volume. And actually this one is a provincial park might. Yeah, so it doesn't have too much search volume. Uh, sorry, let me just change this. Yeah, it doesn't have too, I'm pretty sure I click Canada. Sorry guys. It doesn't have too much search volume. It's not too difficult of a, um, of a piece of content. It's gonna be like, yeah, tours and PEI. Um, just from looking at this, you can see it would be possible to rank on the first page. Let me choose a different one. Let's choose Thunder Cove Beach. Just as a complete different example. Okay. 
Well, these are some, sorry, these are some, uh, these are some bad examples here. Um, anyways, you get the idea, right? Like you can just pick one of these uh, and any of these. And if you write uh, content for each one of these keywords that they give you, this one, for example, right? It has no, uh, it has very few, very little search volume. But again, this is still something you can rank and drive traffic from. And even though it says 20, uh, it's definitely gonna get a lot more traffic if you're ranking, uh, even in the first few results, than 20 visits per month. What you can then do here is reach out to tour companies that offer this tour, or even just sell, sell the affiliate tours. Um, but yeah, plenty of opportunity. It's really easy to find free keywords using ChatGPT. This is what to do with them. In the next uh, video, I'm just gonna dive, dive into one of these auto blogging or AI blogging tools just to show you guys how to easily pump out a lot of content. And then what I would then do um, to the content afterwards. Yeah, sorry for the video guys, quite a long one. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful and we'll see you guys in the next video.